Be staffed out quickly to attend to Justin Goltz. Darius George with the tackle. Buck Beers out with injury. Max Hall knocked out of a game he started in Hamilton. Still recovering from a hand injury. And now Justin Goltz. Now for the Bombers, Max Hall, because it's third down, will have a chance to warm up his arm on the bench. He told me before the game his thumb felt pretty good. He said his grip was as close to back to normal as it, he, he believes he could get at this point. Concern here in Winnipeg uh, when they were in a celebratory mood just seconds earlier. Six carries, 55 yards in the game. A couple of touchdowns, but that is a good sign. A little more weight on it than uh, one might have expected. Well, we've time learned out. in the past Scott couple of weeks, there's still plenty of time. Absolutely. Absolutely. And Saskatchewan called timeout. Saskatchewan just called their timeout. Yeah. Saskatchewan called timeout. Riders are furious. Come back against Montreal. And... Can they orchestrate something here? Well, this is going to start if the Riders got to manage this clock. It starts with Tristan Jackson on this return. And being smart with the football. If he's got a gap, take it. The field position obviously crucial, but if not, He's got to get down quickly and try and save some time. Line drive kick. And the team does the job again. Swarming downfield in a hurry. And flags at the end of the play. Great Peach was one of the first men down, and now we got a little dust up behind the play. And see what Al Bradbury's crew he likes to do with that. Major foul, base mask. Winnipeg, number nine. 15 yards from the end of the play, first down. On Mike Renault gets flagged and so they'll move it up 15 yards and that enhances Saskatchewan field position. signal to the rest of the team that they're going to come on a blitz. That's a fake. They drop out. Four-man pressure. But because of the pressure all game, Durant's jumping around in the pocket, can't settle, and can't be on target with the throw. Pressure again. Turner. Won't let 
goes. And now another late flag. And Tim Burke upset about that after a big play on defense. Their lack of composure penalty. Because uh, he again, well after the play. After the play, unnecessary roughness. Winnipeg, number 44. 15 yards from the end of the play. It's an automatic first down. Automatic first down on the unnecessary roughness play penalty. And let's show you, there's the Brian Turner to the left who got the pressure and the guy who got the penalty, 44, Zach Anderson. As he gets held up a little bit at the line, and it's well out to the right of your screen. And he gets that push right there at the lower part. And now, and there, losing it on the bench. Tim Burke's middle with the number is going to pull the ball. Here comes the blitz. Brady Burke What a day he's had. What a game for Marquette. A pick. A sack. Cover on the blitz. Pressure all game. And for the first time all season, the Riders offensively have not come up with an answer. And maybe the first time all season, this looks like the Palmer defense. Second of the whole lot underneath Sheets. And Sheets wrapped up on the wall button. He takes some punishment at the 52-yard line. All season long, Chris. This offense for the Riders, led by George Cortez, their offensive coordinator, as the team has brought pressure. They've gone to the air and got a deep to Getzlaff or a deep to Weston Dresser. When they want to grind out games, they've gone to Corey Sheets and been successful there. They can't find an answer tonight to the pressure from the Bombers defensively. Zach Anderson sent back in, third down, and the punch. Durant loads it up. Watts Dressler, and it's incomplete. Over his head, another turnover on downs. And the three-game win streak for Saskatchewan's going to come to an end. Darian Duran hasn't been hit this much all year. And Weston Dressler has been shut out. in the second half on nine possessions. And Justin Boltz is back in to finish up. Ford. So barring the unforeseen here, it'll be a first place tie in the West as Calgary will move into a share of the lead with Saskatchewan at 8-2. And and but how bad do these Bombers need this win? I mean, for their crowd that have been coming out faithfully, their new building, which is outstanding. Ron Johnson congratulating Marty Marquette on what an afternoon. Kelly in motion, handoff, no, the fake to Ford, Butler in pursuit, and then Goltz has totaled it, and the front runners have it, and suddenly it's not done. Saskatchewan's got the football back, down at the 25, Ricky Foley with it, and that's the one thing Justin Goltz couldn't do. Couldn't do, and, and why he decides to pull it after being banged up on the previous series going to the bench with an injury barely getting off and decides to pull it there is just a poor decision at the juncture point give it to your running back no matter what now Durant can go to the end zone from this part of the field quick onside kick it's not over yet Intended for Simon, who says he made the catch. The officials aren't sure. Aren't sure. If we get the signal or not, they're going to rule incomplete. 
Simon thought he had it, or at least tried to sell it. Take a quick look. Now clearly one hop from there. Took six seconds off the clock. Full pressure from the bumpers on first down. Can they do it again here? been slow to get off the second half on every hit. After the play, major foul, unnecessary roughness, Saskatchewan, number 68. 15 yards, becomes third down. Dominic Picard. And it's back at the 50. Marty Marquette drops this time. And they send Demond Washington. Bryant Turner there again yeah, too. He, he's a candidate defensive player this week. Marquette has got to be a nominee. Third, they have to get down to the 15. Third, 33. Underneath wrestling got the catch. Now he's got to run for a while. And he'll run out of bounds. Short of the first down. Not sure why he ran out of bounds. And he just realized it. Turnover on downs. Yeah, I, think he, I don't know if he realized it was third down because he he ran straight out of bounds to save time and then looked up and, and just almost and just just watch his reaction. He looks up the clock and then thinks, okay, we still got to wait a minute. Oh no, it was third down. That sums up the day, doesn't it? Yeah. So that's the sixth turnover. This is a team, eight turnovers in the first half of the year. And the Bombers are in victory formation for the first time at the Buster's Midfield.